boys and girls, it's Miss Jenny here, back for another story time today. By the way, I'm from Worthington Libraries and I do all my story times when the library is open at Northwest Library. And today I want to start off, let's do our hello song and say hello to all our friends out there together, okay? Ready to sing it with me? Let's go. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? Hello everybody, pat your head, pat your head, pat your head. Hello everybody, pat your head, pat your head with me. Hello everybody, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders. Hello everybody, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders with me. Hello everybody, tap your knees, tap your knees, tap your knees. Hello everybody, tap your knees, tap your knees with me. Hello everybody, reach for your feet, reach for your feet, reach for your feet. Hello everybody, reach for your feet and have a seat with me. Hi boys and girls, we're just going through some old things I have at home. I found my flannel, old McDonald had a farm. Do you guys remember that? We do that in story time sometimes. Well, before we start our story today, let's go ahead and sing Old MacDonald, and I need your help with this. So get your voices ready and your animal sounds all ready to go, and let's do Old MacDonald together. Ready? Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with the moo-moo here and the moo-moo there. Here, moo, there, moo, everywhere, moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a, you know what that one is? Supposed to be a horse. E-I-E-I-O, what's a horse say? With a neigh, neigh here and a neigh, neigh there. Here and nay, there and nay, everywhere and nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a, oh, you know what this is? A sheep, that's right, what's a sheep say? There, good job. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a bad bad here and a bad bad there, here a bad there, bad everywhere a bad bad. Old MacDonald had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a what that is pig, E-I-E-I-O, with a what? With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a chicken. That's right. What does a chicken say? Cluck, cluck. E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck. Old MacDonald had a chicken. E-I-E-I-O. Speaking of chickens, our story today has a chicken in it. Well, she's a girl chicken, so she's a hen. And her name is Rosie. And I tell you what, this was the first book, picture book, that my oldest son learned to read. And he loved this book so much, and he'd read it to me so many times. And one of the big reasons he liked it so much, he thought it was the silliest story because, you see, boys and girls, look at this picture carefully. Do you know what that is? It's a fox. And this is Rosie, the hen. And in this story, this fox follows Rosie wherever she goes. And do you think it's because they're friends? Or do you think it might be something else? I don't know. 
Let's read and find out. And you know what? The funny part of the story, I'm going to give you a hint, has to do with the fox in the story. So let's go ahead and see what happens, okay? All right. So here we go. Rosie's Walk by Pat Hutchins. And by the way, we want to thank Simon & Schuster for allowing us to read this book to you today. Okay, it all starts off. Rosie the hen went for a walk. Pay very close attention to this fox. This is where Rosie lives. That's her hen coop. Okay, there goes Rosie. There she goes walking. <gasps> she goes across the yard. Can you see this right here? Do you know what that is? It's a rake. Rosie went walked right past it, right? Let's see if the fox is paying attention. He really has his eyes on Rosie. He's not watching where he's going. Hercules, my dog. He may want it. He might have wanted to come to story time. Okay, now Rosie's walking around the pond. What do you think is going to happen to the fox? He's not paying attention, is he? He's watching Rosie. Oops, oops, I'm so sorry. I skipped a page. You're right, Hercules. I wasn't paying attention either. Okay, look what happens to the fox. Splash! Right in the pond. He wasn't paying attention. In fact, he splashed so hard. What fell? What came out of the pond? Ribbit, ribbit. The frogs didn't they? Rosie keeps on walking. Now she's walking across. Oh, she's walking across the haystack. She's going up and over the haystack. What do you think the fox is going to do? Do you think he's going to go up and over? Or do you think he'll will go around? Let's see what happens. <gasps> he went over the haystack just like Rosie. What happened to him? He fell in the haystack. Well, Rosie's not paying attention to the fox, is she? She keeps on walking. Oh, she walks past the goat. She walked over the haystack. And now she goes past the mill. <gasps> Uh-oh. What's this? Flour. It's a big sack of flour. Look at carefully. Look at what where Rosie's foot is. It's tangled in the string, isn't it? Oh, and here comes the rope. Here comes the fox. Is he looking? He's looking at Rosie, isn't he? What do you think is going to happen to that flower? Hmm? Should we go see? Do you think it might land on the fox? fox is covered in flour. Does Rosie pay attention to the fox? She keeps on walking, doesn't she? <gasps> now she's going right through the fence. No problem, right? She's not paying attention. Who's following her again? Still the fox. <gasps> but boys and girls, look very carefully. What do you see here? It has wheels on it. What is that? It's a wagon, isn't it? I wonder, I don't think he's going to be able to fit through the fence. So I think when he jumps over the fence, let's see what happens to this fox. Wonder where he lands. Maybe he lands on the wagon? I don't know, let's see. <gasps> he does, he lands right on the wagon. And, oh no, oh no. There's Rosie. She's walking, no problem. Wonder if he's gonna catch up to Rosie riding in that wagon. Looks like that wagon could be going downhill. And what's Rosie going towards? Do you know what these are, boys and girls? They're bee, little bee houses. That's where bees live, and, and farmers sometimes make honey, and that's where the bees live. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness gracious, look at that. The wagon is going down the hill. What's Rosie doing? Rosie is walking. Oh, she is under the bee houses, the beehives. Right under, no problem. But look at the fox. What's going to happen? What is happening? Oh, he's crashing into those beehives. Oh no. What do you think's going to happen? Let's see. Oh, he let all the bees out. 
The bees are following the fox and the fox is running, running, running. Where's Rosie? Rosie's fine. She's just walking. She walked right under him. No problem. Oh, and she got back for dinner. Back to her hen house, but did you guys see the fox? I don't either. I think those bees might still be chasing them. That fox had so many problems, didn't he? He got hit in the face with the fork. He got, he fell through a haystack. He had flour fall on him. Oh, that was just silly. Well, boys and girls, if you like this story, um, there is a sequel to this story. And if you stay tuned, next story time that you come to a mine, we'll read the, the part two of this story about how Rosie grows up and what happens next in Rosie's life. But for now, it's time to go and do our goodbye wave. So ready? Here we go. Wave high. Wave low. I think it's time we gotta go. Wiggle your fingertips. Wink your eyes. And blow a kiss. And wave goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, have a great day. Bye.